Hello, I'm Dr. Marianne Teitelbaum, and today we're going to talk about moringa, or drumstick. So if you've been listening to some of my videos, or maybe you've read my thyroid book or heard me speak in a podcast or a lecture, you know by now that we live in a world in which we've allowed over 80,000 chemicals into our environment in the form of air pollution, skincare products, industrial chemicals, and even pharmaceuticals. We add chemicals into our highly processed foods and in our water supply as well. These types of chemical con toxins are so hot in nature that they can quickly pierce through the seven tissues and go directly into the bone marrow. In fact, every time we step outside and breathe in the air pollution, it goes immediately into our bone marrow. Every immunization or flu shot you get, the chemicals automatically go into the bone marrow. Taking medicine for acne, yep, you guessed it, it lands right in the bone marrow. How about the nitrates in your breakfast bacon, or your corned beef sandwich at lunch, or the pepperoni on your pizza? There's a reason there's been a ton of research showing that they can cause brain tumors and leukemia. Why? Because this is what happens when toxins go that deep into the bone marrow. The problem is this. If these chemicals build up enough, they can trigger autoimmune diseases and cancer. And it's bad enough that we have these toxins invading us from outside the body, but we also make another toxin called amavitia, which is a hot reactive piercing toxin as well, whenever we don't digest our food the way we should. And this can wreak the same type of havoc as the garvitia, making a beeline through the various tissues, the blood plasma, the blood, muscle, fat, bone, and then landing in the bone marrow. Now, as depressing as all this may sound, what if I told you that there's an antidote to these dangerous chemicals? What if I told you there's actually a food that can also move very fast, like an arrow in the body, piercing through the blood, muscle, fat, bone, and bone marrow, only this one comes to the rescue, cleaning it instead of polluting it more. In the Bhava Prakash, a 16th century textbook of Ayurveda, this food is called Shrigu, which means it moves like an arrow in the body as it rapidly penetrates the tissues where it has a deep detoxifying effect. So what is this incredible food and where do we get it? And how can we cook it? Well, it's known as drumstick. I know that when I tell people that, their mind automatically conjures up pictures of a big hearty turkey or a chicken drumstick. But this is a vegetable and it's actually the long hanging pot of the Moringa tree. Now the moringa tree is known as the miracle tree for good reason. Several parts of the tree are eaten and it has so many vitamins, minerals, and amino acids that it's considered one of the most nutritious plants in the world. Moringa leaves contain 20, 24 times more iron than spinach, 16 times more calcium than milk, 9 times the vitamin A of carrots, many times the potassium of bananas, and every single essential amino acid your body needs. And Moringa contains 46, that's 46 powerful antioxidants which neutralize free radicals before they damage your cells and cause disease. Now, most of the time we eat the leaves and the pod, which is called the drumstick, of the Moringa tree. Both are detoxifying, cleaning all the tissues leading up to and including the bone marrow. So this means that just one ball of drumstick soup can clean the blood plasma, the blood, the muscle, the fat, the bone, and the bone marrow. These are called the first six datus. The datus are the tissues in Ayurveda. Now, because of its effects on cleaning the liver and the blood, <clears throat> it can prevent high cholesterol. In fact, some studies have shown that it works as well as simvastatin, which is a cholesterol-lowering drug, in decreasing cholesterol and triglycerides, and it also prevents a buildup of plaque in the arteries. It prevents tumor formation. There's lots of research on that. It can lower blood sugar and sugar in the urine. It can prevent and dissolve kidney stones. It's antifungal. It's effective against athlete's foot. It's even famous for detoxifying the eyes. And because they enhance fat metabolism, they're really good for cellulite, and they're able to heal the type of headaches that we get when there's too many toxins sitting in our blood. The list of the health benefits go on and on and on. And another amazing fact about drumstick 
It's that it's both nourishing and detoxifying at the same time. See, there's two phases to our lives. Sometimes we want to break down the tissues and detoxify. And then other times we want to build up the tissue after the period of detox is done. But this vegetable has the capability to do both at the same time, which is really unusual. Now I have a drumstick here. This is what it looks like. It's about 10 to 16 inches long. And like our bones, it's somewhat hard on the outside, but on the inside, it's soft and squishy like our bone marrow is, which is where its health benefits are most pronounced. Most of the Indian markets carry this drumstick frozen, but if you're lucky enough like I am to be able to get it fresh, it has even more health benefits. Just get whatever you can get, frozen or fresh, they're both good. But it can increase heat or pit it in the body, and it might aggravate vada because they have a drying capability. So it's not recommended that you eat them more than twice a week just to be on the safe side. And here are the Moringa leaves. This is what they look like. These are even more detoxifying, so be careful with them as well. In fact, you should avoid both Moringa leaves and the drumstick pods if you're pregnant because it could cause a miscarriage. And if you're breastfeeding, you should also avoid both the leaves and the pod because it's so detoxifying. Plus, it'll make your milk very bitter and unpalatable for your infant. They won't like the taste of your milk. And even though it's fully packed with nutrients, at the same time, it's highly detoxifying and it's best not to give it to babies. Because infancy is a time for nurturing and babies should only be fed somogenic, nurturing food, like the summer squashes, oatmeal, rice, foods like that. We recommend to start introducing a normal adult diet at the age of five years and older. Now here's a recipe for drumstick soup from my dear friend Divya Alter from her cookbook, which is entitled, What to Eat for How You Feel, The New Ayurvedic Kitchen. And it was published in 2017 by Rizzoli. In a medium sized pot, put nine two inch pieces of the drumstick pod, cover it with four cups of spring water, and add three peeled and chopped taro root, which you can also get at the Indian market. A half teaspoon each of ghee, turmeric, ground cumin, coriander, and fennel, six curry leaves, salt, and pepper to taste. Let it simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes, mashing the drumsticks and the taro root towards the end of the cooking. Then strain it into a bowl and serve it with fresh squeezed lime. This recipe will make enough for two people, and even though it's used for detox, it's really delicious at the same time. And you can cook the fresh moringa leaves in the same way you cook spinach. Just take the leaves off the hard stem, rinse them several times, and then incorporate them into soups, stews, dal, kitchery. Both the leaves and the drumstick pods should be cooked and not eaten raw, and don't make them into a juice, like a green juice that's raw. They always need to be cooked. And try to cook the drumstick with cumin and curry leaves because they'll decrease their inherent bitterness. If you don't have an Indian market near you, it's really easy nowadays to get the dried moringa leaves to be used in soup or made into a tea. So you can still receive these amazing health benefits. Eating moringa leaves or the pod are a must in our highly toxic world to prevent serious disease from occurring. I'm sure you'll feel this great surge of strength and energy after you eat this miracle food. Thank you.